Shake Our Beauty. I'm Nikki Carico, and on my channel, I love to talk about luxury skincare and beauty. And today I'm doing a first impressions and demo of the Guerlain Mystic Peacock Quad, this beautiful blue, teal, orange, brown palette. And so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look and details of this makeup below, then keep watching. So here I'm showing you my finished eye look on the right side. And here's the demo. I start with the orange shade with a rougher 15 brush. I love this brush for a crease shade. What I'm finding about these Guerlain shadows are that they are so easy and forgiving on aging lids. Sometimes I struggle with mattes or sh uh, shades from Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona, and that's not the case with Guerlain. These almost have a satin finish, at least this shade, and it's so easy to go on my crease here, as you can see. Because I have hooded lids, sometimes mattes and shades can really just get really patchy there. So I'm grabbing a Sonia G um, Sky Brush here, and then patting that blue shade on to see how well it can be packed on. I did find that it went on a little patchy. I'm curious to try this blue shade again, but if I were to wet the brush to see if it would go on, or also I would use maybe next time that brown shade because there almost seemed to be a, a tack on it to grab the product. But this is again my first impressions and so far it was fine as long as I built it up. And I'm going for a smoky look here because at this moment I just have to commit <laughs> with the blue shadow to be careful to get it in my, my entire mobile lid here and just packing on the color. Um, gradually and taking my time because part of it sometimes um, it was hard to pack on but as you can see after just a couple layers it was fine and then here I'm just kind of checking my work and then just taking my time and then going in with a Hakuhodo dome brush with that brown shade and I'm trying to deepen the outer V which is something to do with hooded lids is kind of to kind of define that outer edge just because uh, with Asian eyelids, you have to kind of create the lid. And so going back again, just kind of making sure the symmetry between the two eye shapes and just making it dramatic and pulling that out. And going back in with that rougher 15 brush and then picking up some of that orange shade just to uh, blend out the edges between the brown and the blue so it's not such a harsh line. And also to make sure that uh, that orange shade actually shows up on the crease. Sometimes with my lids, some of the colors can disappear. So I always, look, I, I always like to look back on what I'm building to make sure the colors that I want to appear do show up on my lids. So I'm kind of checking. And that's the thing with makeup is to always just kind of um, take a pause and look. So I'm taking that teal topper shade. It's the one that has like a duochrome. And for this look, I just wanted to see how it would uh, pair with the blue. And it definitely amped up the look. It might not seem like it in the video, but in real life, that teal shade, uh, I was a topper in this look, looked gorgeous. It just amped up the look to be not a flat matte blue, but just a glittery, wonderful evening look. In the next look, I would love to use that teal shade by itself on an inner corner or lay it down on that brown color to see how that would look. But for this look, I committed to the smoky blue. Um, again, like buffing out the edges and taking my time. Going back into that orange shade with a Sonia G uh, pencil. I don't think it's a pencil brush, but it's the one I love for my lower lid. And just using that to start to smoke out the bottom lid of this eye look and meeting the top. And then taking a Sonia G uh, flat edge brush and then taking some of that blue to build up the color. There's my dog visiting in the background. And then taking the Sonia G brush again with the deeper color to continue smoking out the outer edge. Um, taking the orange shade again and building up in my inner corner. And here I love this liner. Sisley has beautiful gel liners. This is, I think, Mystic Blue. And it's a gel liner that you can use um, for tight lining and I normally don't tight line but because this is such a smoky look it just called for it this is a beautiful blue color it's not a flat blue either it's got some shimmer in it and I'll do a swatch in a moment but you can see how quickly that smoked out the look I and there is the swatch of that that eyeliner and then taking a BK brush and I like to smudge a little bit for that lower lid I use that brush a lot for just smudging and then there is a little bit of fallout. So just taking my foundation brush 
and cleaning up the edges a bit. And then finishing the look with the Surat eye, um, eyebrow pomade in, br in brune or brown. I love this for a natural look and it keeps my eyebrows lifted. Okay, so I finished off the eye look with a couple of things. So I finished off with the some mascara on the bottom and top lashes and I did my eyebrows with the Surat eyebrow pomade mascara mac giga black on the bottom and then shanta on top there was some fallout right here so i did have to go back and kind of clean this up here but that's um not a big problem and just next time i know if i'm gonna go smoky with this look that i'll probably do my eye look first and then i finished with some gucci blush in rosy beige 05 which has been my go-to i just adore this color i think if you have a uh, medium a uh, medium tan of skin tone, it is definitely going to show up there. I'll just put some more on so you can see. I think it's a beautiful color and I just put it back there because it is a little bit, can be intense the way I wear it. And then I did, I've been loving this Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Intensity 2. I do that for contouring and then put some of this balm, this kind of like rose gold um, kind of balm on top. Can you see that? It just adds this kind of like glow from within. I'm just loving it. I just um, I'm actually finding, probably not using the brush, just using my fingers is best, and I kind of ran some here. And then I put some uh, finishing blur powder, Chantecaille, and I was trying to figure out what color lipstick. Now, I eventually, I started with a nude color, and it just, nudes are, are fussy on me. I think, um, at least for me, um, some can wash me out, but I ended up using a combo of the Lisa Eldridge Cinnabar gloss and then I put a layer of the actual Cinnabar actually show you I'll put some of that there's that Cinnabar velvet formula from Lisa Eldridge but I actually started off with the gloss because it's a bit lighter not as intense if you can see that's why I love the glosses they might be a similar color but the, it's a finish is different and it was a little bit too warm so I actually went in with velvet fawn and kind of ran that over the top just to kind of um chill it out a little bit do you see how that made that a little bit more less less uh, warm so i actually just i'll show you what i did i just kind of ran that lipstick in the middle just to lighten up the middle part so it's not as super orange or as intense and I love to do that with my lipsticks just to play around with different color combinations. And that is the final look. So it's a lot smokier than I thought it would be. So I think, I don't know, I would wear this during the day or probably it would be an evening look. And I'll probably try to do another daytime look with this because um, it's evening right now. So I don't mind doing an evening kind of smoky look, but I'll get in closer so you can see. It's a beautiful quad. The blue ended up being a little bit cho more chalky than I thought it'd be. So let me just swatch some of these colors for you on my fingers. And I think if I were to do this again, I would probably see if I could lay this down first and that on top to see if that would make a difference because I was having trouble smoking this out over here. And then I'm just making sure to like leave some space up here for this um this kind of orangey gold shift i love this color i think this is i don't know i think all these colors are really beautiful and this one here it's kind of like a duo chrome but it's more of a topper shade where you can just take it and just tap it on really gently i'm doing that again to just amp up the look yeah it's a really gorgeous quad and i this is my only other second quad from Guerlain. I think these are gorgeous. They're not like Tom Ford, but they're just, the color stories are really interesting. It's not what I'm seeing with Chanel or Tom Ford. These are definitely more adventurous and really colorful. And I think I might pick up one more. It's that warm tone one, but I've seen swatches that people have said it looks like Suspicion, I think, from Tom Ford. So I already have that and I'm trying to buy only quads that 
I don't have color stories to in order to really use what I have in my collection. Really quickly through my collection to find some dupes. I'm going to do the blue one right here. And I only have one where it's already screaming that it's a possible dupe. Um, and that's the Guerlain, the blue shade. And it doesn't swatch as wonderfully as I thought. So it's not as super creamy as I was wanting it to be. So it was a little patchy putting it on. And the one that I could think of would be the Mothership One palette, which is one of my favorite palettes because it's really one of the few cool tone palettes Mama Pat has. So it, uh, that special shade here. And it's definitely still creamy. Just look, I just, oh God, it's just so beautiful. You can see it's trying to mimic that, but there's nothing, I don't think it's going to rival Mama Pat. It's a close dupe, but there's almost a vibrancy more with Pat McGrath than on the Guerlain. You see that? Oh God, that's, that's one of the special shades. So, you know, it was a little bit patchier than I was expecting it to be, but that's okay. Um, I gotta pull this up more, this Mothership one. I just love that palette. The other dupe would be this Topper Special Shade. It's almost like a duochrome. Do you see that? It's got, it's a teal with almost a purple black shift underneath. So beautiful. That's the Topper that I've used. It could be used alone, but it's gonna look a little chunky. It's not super seamless. So I would definitely use that as a Topper. And the one I was thinking about was the Dior Nightbird palette. And this, unfortunately, is limited edition. I don't think you can find this anymore. But this is probably one of my favorite Dior quints ever because of the color story being so unique. So actually, this one is just kind of a regular shimmer shade where this is like duo, maybe a multi-chrome. So there's teal, purple, and I think almost black with this one. So I'm going to swatch this one and see how that compares to this. Oh, it's very similar. Super cool. Okay, and I'm gonna do this one that's not a duochrome. It's just a satin, but also just very beautiful. Okay, you can see that there's a shift to the other. So if you are wanting this Quint and specifically for these colors, maybe think about getting the um, this mystic peacock because it has a similar like at least the top two shades here the the teal and the orange are similar in vibe and you could definitely dupe the bottom one um yeah so those are pretty similar that's so cool because i know this is really really difficult to get i don't even think you can find it anymore unless you go on ebay or someone's selling it used or new at a high price i think the one from dior has more of a shift like a duochrome shift it has more purple. I don't know if you can see it. It might be really hard to see with the lighting I have, but um, I can see the shift in my naked eye, whereas the Guerlain doesn't really have that purple shift. So it's not an exact dupe, but it's very similar. And then the last shade I'm going to swatch is that orange shade. This one. It's a beautiful copper orange shade. So pretty i'm gonna swatch it again it's just i think that this for me i've used colors like this that are one and done so beautiful and what i'll do is i use this as a one and done and then i'll use like a blue liner on top so i just love this color story it's something a color story i've used often just by putting together myself so i grabbed three quads that might have a similar color to this and this was this this is the suku 115 from the summer and I was thinking, oh gosh, let me look really quick. Yeah, I was thinking this color here, I'll actually do this one and the bottom one here. They're very similar, but there was a subtle difference. One was more pink and one's more orange. Okay, that's more pink and that's more orange. So this is a little bit deeper, so that's a similar one. This was a fun quad, it's very fiery and orange. And you might be able to find this one. Again, this is 115. And then I found this one, which is a Suku Limited Edition 101. This is almost impossible to get. I don't think you can find this one anymore. But it's similar to the Guerlain. But it might not be as shimmery. So let's see. Yeah, the one on top, the Guerlain, is a bit chunkier. You can see 
There's some more pink where this is a bit flatter, but it's also very pretty. And then I picked up the last, the last quad I picked up is a Suku quad 113, almost also limited edition. I don't know if you can find these. And it has a pink underlay, more peachy actually, like a melon. Um, you can tell I definitely, whenever there's like a Suku co a color story like this, I tend to really try to buy it because I just love these colors. I think for my warm skin tone, it just ends up being a really nice one and done. Okay, so if you have any of those quints or quads, then you could probably dupe it. But, you know, I just like that it's all in one palette. These are such beautiful colors. I think that there is some fallout with this, so you'd have recommend doing your eye makeup first. I think that I'm interested to see what Guerlain comes out more with. I'm like their color stories. that they, they had two or three other ones, like the holiday one. Uh, I wasn't really into because it looked like two colors I have already from Metal Butterfly. But I'm really curious to see, I'm excited to see what Guerlain comes out with now that, um, what's her name? I can't remember, the woman who does um, Violette French. The, she is the new uh, creative director, I think, for Guerlain. So I think under her creative direction, she's bringing a fresh perspective and color stories to Guerlain. So I'm hoping... Guerlain does some really more, much more exciting and fun colors like this because I am really liking them. I think they're really beautiful. And I'm not going to dupe the thing, like the, the brown one, because it's just, this one's a bit creamier. And I think this is what I should have done. I think this is meant to be the one I put down first because it's just kind of like, it's not really a, a black or a brown. It's, it's, there's a creaminess to it. I think this is what reminds me of is, it reminds me of the Subversive One palette where you want some of these uh, tones and these are not gonna be the same, but like kind of like a gray tone or brown black tones to put down first to build up your color base. This is some from Subversive One or Subversive. So it's, it reminds me of kind of like how you wanna lay those down first. Okay. So um, that's it for my review. Let me know what you think of this color. I know I'm really super late in putting these up, but you know I don't do uh, I don't do YouTube professionally. Um, I'm kind of you know a very very small channel, which is what keeps the fun. Some of you may or may not know about content creation, at least for makeup, is that um, the, you get more subscribers and likes the sooner you come out with a makeup review. And I live on um, the Pacific Northwest where I, it's really hard to get packages right away because it has to do with, do with distribution centers. So in order for me to get things right away, like people on the East Coast, I would have to pay extra shipping and I'm not going to do this. It would like suck the fun out of doing these makeup videos and reviews. So my channel is very like, whenever I get to it, I'm a real person just like you and that. I actually have a full-time job. I just do this for fun. And when I get time to, it's like, which is I'm filming at night now or on the weekend. And when I get to it is when I get to it, or really, I don't try, I try not to get things. Um, I try not to, I try not to, I try not to pay for things full price. So I like to wait for sales. I have to get them right away when everybody else does, because why, why get it right away when you can wait? So um, yeah, I would highly recommend this. I think it's a beautiful quint quad. And if you love blues and that orange, the kind of a really, really beautiful color story, then I'd highly recommend this. I love these colors. So for me, I knew this was like the one I was going to get. And then the rest were kind of like, okay, then I'll figure it out. But I'm enjoying this Guerlain formula. So it's not like Tom Ford. It's not like the wet and dry, but um, they are going away. It seems like from, to me, it seems like they're going away from Tom Ford from the wet and dry formula. They did it, do it for the Solo, Soleil Neige winter collection, but I decided actually not to get those because the reviews were starting to be horrible and those are $90. And so I, you know, I'm taking pause to what I'm buying and just kind of waiting to see how things are reviewing um, and really just being, uh, just me more judicious and like pausing before I buy a lot of makeup because the stuff is expensive. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this review or you learned something or just enjoyed hanging out with me, then please consider 
commenting below and pushing the like button and consider joining the Mickey Carr Beauty Fam by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. As always, please be very kind to yourself and others and just be you. Until the next video, take care Beauty Fam. Bye!